Well, I guess this is the long unexpected sequel to why I'm not buying the Indiana Jones game because there's some more stuff that has been released about the game recently and I want to talk about it. Yes, I've already hated on this game. Yes, you should like and subscribe. And no, I'm not called Roy. This is Rogues. Welcome back to another video. So I'm not going to keep you guys waiting on a flipping Wednesday evening. What's going on with the Indiana Jones game? Well, basically, there's some news that there's going to be some new footage releasing at Gamescon. So I'm reading this article from Yahoo. I don't really like Yahoo. I like nothing about them. I don't even know how you pronounce them. Is it Yahoo? Was it Yahoo? Or I don't know. Basically, they're saying Gamescon is just around the corner, allowing tons of attendees to check out the latest video games. One such game will be Indiana Jones and the Great Circle with new footage to be featured at Gamescom opening night live. Um, that is like the fakest paragraph I think I've ever heard. Like that was like a pre-built introduction to like a journalist page, but that was awful. Write in the comments what you think that that paragraph was on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being ultra fake and 1 being like not fake at all, but like bro if you put 1 like it doesn't even make any sense. I've just, I've just invented the fake scale, okay, and this on the scale, I would say, is probably a 10, you know, even the language where they try and be a bit goofy, like, Gamescom is just around the corner, just around the corner, it seems like kind of a bit light hide, like it's said by a human, but it's not, because it's been said a million times, and yeah, ultimately, I give this one definitely a, definitely a 10 on the fake scale, um, 10 not being good, by the way. Anyway, back into the news. It also says that there's going to be a new look at Indiana Jones, right? Talking about the game. Basically saying there's going to be new footage, right? It's not going to be like some announcement like, oh, it's going to release on this day or whatever. Even though, uh, you know, there probably will be an announcement for when it's actually getting released. Unless that's already been said. I don't know. Uh, does it say uh, August 2024? Um, oh, that's when Gamescom is live, bro. I'm just reading all over the place right now. I don't really care about this Indiana Jones game. I've already made tons of videos about it. Oh, well, I made one, but that was sufficient. This game is going to be awful. And you know it's going to be bad just from the fact that this game is first person, okay? This is how the developers, okay, how the studio, how the company, whatever you want to call them, right? That This is how they look at you, the person who's going to be buying this game, the person who's going to be playing this game, right? They think that you're some, like, five-year-old who still dresses up as, like, Spider-Man or something. And, you know, they basically want you to imagine yourself as Indiana Jones. They actually want... They actually think that you want to be literally Indiana Jones, like, the embodiment of Indiana Jones. Like, after you're going to be playing this game, you're going to, like, go outside, right? And you're going to be, like, swinging on lampposts or whatever with your whip. And you're going to be, like, stealing artifacts and they're really just stones on the beach. All I want is a third-person action-adventure game playing as Indiana Jones. And it's almost impossible to get. Even that is too much of an ask. And then it's like, oh, here's the Nazis again. Here's Hitler's autograph. I don't want Hitler's autograph. I've already got that with The Last Crusade, okay? What I want is, you know, maybe just have it so it's the original trilogy and you're playing as Indiana Jones throughout the original trilogy. So it's kind of like the, the Lego games, right? But without the Lego, okay, if you get what I mean. Or what about just leave Indiana Jones alone and make a new franchise or make a new set of video games that are action adventure based or something. Like they try to do that with the Uncharted series and you know people liked it for it. Right I've never played Uncharted so I can't even give my verdict on that. Is that a game I should play? Should everyone just you know go ahead and play Uncharted instead of the new Indiana Jones game? Is that something that people are actually going to do? This is the thing as well right. Um, wasn't Kathleen Kennedy saying the other day right that if she went out on a big win then she would retire so i know some people now for some reason saying they're going to support everything lucas film based and st you know anything related to disney in any sort of way just so that kathleen kennedy can leave you are losers that's never gonna happen okay it's literally never gonna happen okay she, you she might make the ray skywalker movie and he gets like a billion pounds or a tr trillion quadrillion dollars right and she's still going to stay in office until she's crippled in a like wheelchair and she's got like all these like breathing apparatus and everything. She is literally never going to leave. Okay. And even if she does leave, then I don't know, she's like conjuring up some like dark magic in the corner of the universe. Do you know what's even worse about like creating a new story to an already existing story that's a brilliant, right? It's like, well, now I'm never going to forget 
what you did and it's always going to be in the back of my mind i'm always going to be thinking about the last jedi and the rise of skywalker after i watched return of the jedi okay and it's never going to leave my mind you have just destroyed my love for the original trilogy and um, with indiana jones it'd be the same thing i watched dial of destiny why on earth did i watch dial of destiny okay it ended perfectly on kingdom of the crystal skull that's it kingdom of the crystal skull that's it that's the end of the story okay i don't need anything else i don't need the great circle i don't need the flipping triangle of like death i don't need like the great rectangle i don't need any of that just leave it okay so i don't know i'll do a follow-up video for the uh, new footage of indiana jones maybe I don't know. Maybe I, you know what? No. Uh, from what I've already said, I'm never going to watch anything Indiana Jones based other than the original four movies. And same with Star Wars. Like, I'll be scrolling on YouTube and I see something on, like, I don't know. I just hear, like, a faint flashback. Okay. Someone's got a video about, like, I don't know, The Force Awakens or something. Or somebody's got, like, a, I don't know, a clip of a part of a movie I don't really like that relates to another film. You know when somebody has like a meme or flipping like Star Wars or something? Or when someone goes, oh yeah, the Big Bang Theory and they talk about, you know, um, Indiana Jones, the first one, would work without Indiana Jones in the actual thing and he doesn't even affect the plot. Like, I have to like, I can't watch that. I literally can't. The ads pop up and it gives me a reminder. Okay, shoot, I'm not watching this. I just need George Lucas to make another sci-fi film that predicts the future and maybe have it about like, you know, humans having their memories erased because then if that technology comes about, I'm definitely going to use that to erase the sequel trilogy from my mind. Only if I trust the people who have actually created it because if it's like, I don't know, Bill Gates or something, he's going to try and like erase like tons of things in my mind and like turn me into like some slave robot working for Walmart or something. So, you know, <laughs> I don't want that happening. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. It's 36 minutes past eight and um, bro, Havoc died, man. I'm not going to make a video on it, but Havoc's dead.